Hey, hey, this is Netflix Hollywood. We're a big fan of your channel. No, what? Yeah, 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 we are. We watch you all the time. Whoa. We are especially impressed with your blurry background. While it is so cinematic, you obviously know what it takes to make a good Hollywood movie. Wow. No, cool. no need to be humble. And you're using an overhead boom shotgun mic, just like we do in Hollywood. Yeah. We are impressed. We are impressed. And that blue and purple background? Wow. Genius. Did you come up with that idea? Yeah, 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 I did. What made you choose blue and pink? That is just amazing. I mean, think a manly man like you using pink? Who would have thought? I Who know. Who thought? <laughs> genius just just genius and that backwards hat the tattoos and the way you start every video with the word sup sup Man, sup you are so in tune with the pulse of america yeah you represent america you are the man the man yeah i'm telling you that blurry background cinematic all the way Whoa. my friend are you sitting down yeah man your blurry background convinced us we'd like you to make our next blockbuster Whoa. movie. Whoa! Yes, you. Yes, you. Hey! Yes, you, my friend. Hi there. I'm not relevant, but you can be. See, I don't need clicks and subscribers and all that stuff. I don't, I don't need that. But you might want the money and the fame and the glory and all the accolades that come with being famous on YouTube. So, to be relevant, you must do this. But first, a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Not <laughs> You must start with the video with the word sup. So important. Sup, okay, really important. You must wear a baseball cap to be relevant and be accepted by society. You must do secret gang symbols with your hands pretending to be a white guy who raps. That's so important. And you must show off that you know how to skateboard and you hang out with the skateboarding crowd. Otherwise, you're just an aging loser. And that ties in with the baseball cap because that tells people you may be losing your hair, but you're still young at heart. It's really important that you use the word cinematic whenever possible because everybody wants to be a filmmaker. So put cinematic in the title and make people think that you know the secret on how to be cinematic. You must use the term B-roll like you work in the film business. Yeah, B-roll, I, I do B-roll. When I do B-roll, yeah, I, I just did B-roll. When I do B-roll there, B-roll in every other sentence you use. It makes people think you're in the film business and you know what you're talking about. And we all know this is the most important, the most important thing of all, of all, of anything of all, is that you must have a blurry background. You must have blurry backgrounds as much as possible. Nothing says cinematic filmmaker like a blurry background. You must have annoying house music while doing stuff. It annoys the hell out of people, but for some reason, people do it. So you must do it too, because you gotta be like them. You must speed up and slow down your boring footage to make it seem more interesting. Everybody's got boring footage, so speed it up and slow it down. Speed it up and slow it down. Really important, all right? You gotta learn your speed ramping and your editing system. You must cut away to slow motion close-ups of stupid things to be artsy. Again, the shots are boring, so do slow motion stuff to make it even more boring, but that at least shows that you're artsy. And artsy says cinematic. That says filmmaking. You must use drone footage so people will wow with the epicness. Nothing says epic like drone footage. So get a drone. You must use a cage to make your tiny camera look impressive. Hollywood people stick stuff all over their cameras. So you need to stick stuff all over your camera. Makes it really impressive. You must do speed or meth beforehand to be super hyper because boring people are boring. When you're slow, people just click to the next video. All right, speed or meth, really important. Having tattoos, a beard, and shaving the side of your head helps tremendously. It screams youthful masculinity that women flock to. You are a hormone-driven frenzy. You are the coolest cool of cinematic filmmakers. You must have a background lit up with RGB lights, especially blue, purple, pink, and you need to have shelves with immature toys like action figures on there to show that you are in fact not aging and still in touch with your inner child and young at heart. That's so important. So skateboarding, baseball cap backwards, and immature action figures on the shelves in the back and you need to light them up with blue, pink, and purple RGB lights. You cannot use cameras that are more than six months old. You must only review things that have not even been released to normal people yet. If you review something that's already been out for a few months, that shows you're just a normal everyday loser. Oh, this is so important. This is so important. You must use the term game changer whenever describing the latest item you are reviewing and also the term next level. And you must use the word mind-blowing in the title. So mind-blowing, next level, game changer. 
you're guaranteed 100,000 clicks the first day. And when taking pictures, you must hold the camera like this. Sure, the rear screen does not give a proper representation of exposure or color, but who cares? It looks cool, and that's what matters. Never ever use the viewfinder, even though it's more accurate, because viewfinders are for pussies. The closer the camera is to your face, the more of a loser you are. And this is important. You're not a photographer, you're not a videographer. You are a shooter. You need to use the term shooter because it makes people feel more like a man and less like a nerd. You don't take pictures, you shoot things. You're a shooter. All right, all right, uh, what else? Oh yeah, the gaming chair. You gotta have a gaming chair because it makes people feel like you're in a race car. And you need to say killer in the title. For example, Panavision Killer. Area Alexa killer. You kill the big important things because you got something more important. And if you're over 50, stop using the term kit or piece of kit, all right? That nothing says you're over 50 like using the word kit and piece of kit. Just stop it. It's, it, it's, it's old. Just don't do it. And if you don't meet all these criteria, don't worry. I'm in the loser category too. I don't just review things that have been out for a while. I review stuff that they don't even make anymore and people have long forgotten about. I don't wear baseball caps. I don't have tattoos. I like using cheap plastic stuff instead of super expensive things whenever possible. And I don't shoot raw. I don't care about dynamic range. And I don't use RGB lights. I'm a lousy skateboarder. And I don't use drones. And my strobes are not even the pro version. I'm a loser, but I don't care. At least I have one thing that I'm thankful for. Marky, my mini skirt's too tight. Can you help me take it off? And that is you, my faithful friends, to hang out with. <laughs>